Greetings, uh, Coal Gables leaders. Um, in specific, uh, my friend Vince Lago, my friend Ron Anderson, and uh, the apparent new city commission candidate, uh, Richard Laura, um, Rip Holmes. Uh, I want to offer my take on the uh, apparently controversial issues. Uh, certainly they're disputed. Uh, uh, when is the best day for election? And uh, is, it, is it April as it's been as long as I can remember a standalone election or is it November in the general election? Um, and the other issue being, uh, is it good or bad that commissioners recently uh, doubled their pay? Um, first of all, I, I want to uh, just mention, you know, I'll, I'll put this out as a public thing, but I'm going to send it to you, you three in particular. Um, um, and I, it's probably in part really keyed on Mr. Laura because I, I, I think uh, with Mr. Laura, he's, uh, he's an excellent leader who uh, may benefit, hopefully, you know, from some of the things I might offer in the, what, what is my um, knowledge of, of these issues? I'm a six time loser, right? I'm a perennial losing candidate. So, you know, as a candidate, even if I know going in that uh, I'd have to win the lottery to win the election, uh, so to speak, it would be, you know, divine intervention. Nonetheless, I, I can understand the issues. Um, secondly, um, uh, in the past 25 years, I've attended approximately two thirds of all city commission meetings. Um, so, uh, um, the reason I support the standalone election in April, um, and, and, and I just mentioned this too, because it, it, my involvement precedes uh, even the presence of the, the differing parties in this dispute. Um, I first ran in, uh, am I recalling correctly, 2011, and uh, that was before the, the other people were on the commission or, you know, actively engaged in, in. so anyways, um, I support the standalone election because uh, a poor candidate actually can win by outworking the opponent. Uh, in, in a standalone election in April, if, if you knock on enough doors and the people like your message, uh, you can win uh, without having, um, I, I may as well be honest now, in the context of post, not, post Citizens United where developers are now uh, uh, donating four fifths of all monies that are given, that are donated to contributed to candidates, uh, we have a developer ocracy. Again, uh, statistics show that uh, in any Cole Gables election, uh, on average, four fifths of the money donated to can the election candidates comes from developers and only one fifth from all voters combined. So we really have uh, a sort of a, a takeover, a crushing of democracy uh, by, because of Citizens United. Um, and um, so in an April election, an, an, uh, a non-developer financed uh, candidate can win by hard work knocking on doors. Not really uh, pro possible in a November election where uh, a lot of people that are voting really are there to vote for president or governor or senator and voting in a local race is, is an afterthought. And when they do, it's going to be for the people with name recognition, uh, name recognition obtained by developer money and advertising. Um, so for a, a perennial losing candidate like me, right? Um, maybe I never win, but at least I have a better chance in, uh, in, in, the stand, in the April standalone election. Uh, with relation to the 
<clears throat> issue of um, commissioner pay. Um, likewise, uh, I think it's important in this post uh, Citizens United age. Um, um, first of all, I think Citizens United was a corrupt decision. It's been proven corrupt by cases like that of Clarence Thomas, uh, the Federalist Society, uh, Senator Sheldon Whitehouse. Uh, Citizens United can be ended because it, it was a result of bribery by the Federalist Society to uh, Republican U.S. Supreme Court uh, judges like Clarence, like um, John Roberts. His, his wife was paid $10 million for $3 million worth of work in executive search for the big law firms who practice right in front of her husband. All right, so there's a conflict of interest. She's getting $10 million from, from uh, big law firms that argue cases in front of her husband for only $3 million worth of work. So this is like a soft bribe. We, Citizens United can be ended. Anyways, um, but we're stuck with it for now, and I think that to avoid that developerocracy influence, it's better to have commissioners get enough money to be free. We, we don't want commissioners to be dependent on developer money. And, and so let's pay them enough so that they're independent. Um, I, I appreciate you all letting me express my opinion here because... Uh, um, and I'll just go ahead and conclude with this. Uh, Vince Lago is my friend. Vince Lago has done lots more for Miracle Mile than anyone will ever realize. Uh, Vince Lago has saved Miracle Mile. Uh, I communicate well with, with Ms. Anderson, um, uh, but I, I, I want to stake out my position on, on these two issues. Thank you very much.